Hi there and welcome back to another video. This is the first in our new place. We had just recently had to move back to Germany and leave our beloved off-grid community in Auroville uh, for certain circumstances. Um, and uh, I take the opportunity to make a video that I plan to do since a while about how to make those threads here, those bindings. Um, just with the, with the move that we did from a hot country to a cold country, I experienced that all, a lot of them went loose on my flutes. And I mean, it's just a matter of time. Once in a while, you might have to change them. So it's a good skill to know how to make this. And as you see here, for instance, these I have changed already. This is the loose and I had to change a lot of those on my other flutes. They just, some of them just fall off. So I will just remove this one here and redo it. <clears throat> So, that's a string, so you just make sure that you have a, uh, that you find some, some strings, some nylon strings, which are really durable, which you can really hardly break. And by the way, I remember I had a, a small talk with a flute maker, um, who I was surprised that his opinion was that this is more uh, decoration than anything else and he didn't recognize any difference if they break or not <laughs> um, I'm not sure and I think that also depends on how you do it so uh, I really go for a very thick and very durable string and I apply a lot of pressure on them so now I had to change so many of those flutes and back in Germany the, the air is very dry and my fingers they really I had created some wounds here, so uh, I use gloves now for the for the next ones. Um, and you will see how much pressure I apply there. So, but the technique now. So you just make a leash like this. I think you can see that in that camera very well here. All right. And then you hold that. And this is how that goes. So I used to do four turns with a medium pressure. Otherwise it will flip, you hold it, keep it tight. And then you pull it really hard. Make the fifth turn. There you can see. So now some just some hints on the way here. Now these are tight, but these are loose. So you can just grab this leash and tighten the beginning as well. As much as you can, and this will really hurt your fingers. So you can also take gloves for that. So because I want to go really tight with this, from here I'm gonna take on this glove. I think that's a neoprene, which I found in our boxes here in Germany, which we have to, this is what you use in the, not in the middle of the winter, but in the times in between you use those. So they're really protecting the skin and I can really pull it hard. And when you do it this way, I think it makes a difference if the flute might break or not, but it needs to be really tight. So I always pull it and then I hold it with the thumb here. Pull it and hold it. So now that's the end. And here you turn, you put that through the leash. Now that comes the trick. Ta-ta. And you see that comes from here under the whole binding. And then you just pull that through. So from now on it holds already and then I use another glove for that hand. You can find any other method and then to pull those two against each other. So 
And now you see how that goes. Yeah, I'll show it in this camera also. You can see how the the two strings are under the, all the turns here, and because of the pressure, it's self, self, support, self supporting. So you don't need any glue, and if this is tight, it will hold a really long time. So and then in the end, you just cut these. Okay, this was for demonstration, um, but I will just make this again because I want to have that a little bit wider and use the rest of this string. So this was just for you to show. All right, hope you learned something. Uh, this can be used not only for flutes. Um, I used it in India for the brooms, to tie the brooms or anything that you want to tie. You can use it with any type of uh, other, other strings, uh, thicker ones. So I think it's a really great method, which is usable in many ways. So. Hope you learned something and uh, you can use it for whatever, uh, not only for Panzeri fruits maybe. See you next time. Bye-bye.